Hey everybody, um, I got my early results back today, so I'm COVID free. Uh, my, neg my test was negative. Uh, next step possibly will be to, to get antibody test to see if I've got um, antibodies built up from possibly a previous exposure that um, I feel like I've been sick before and it was kind of an unusual uh, virus that kind of stuck with me uh, and had a fever for um, a few days, it spiked, kept it for a few nights and it, it, it's kind of unusual and I'm looking back thinking that it was possible COVID. So an antibody test would tell me that. Also today I've been thinking about more of what I said yesterday and uh, the anxiety uh, level that everybody is experiencing right now. You know we've got uh, a lot of people at home with kids uh, that are out of school as well and it's just a lot of tension going on right now. People are out of work, not making a lot of money, um, and the uh, $1,200 doesn't go very far. So you got a house full of kids uh, with nothing to do, nowhere to go, and uh, anxiety is high. Um, a lot of uncertainty as when we will be able to go back and open up each state, uh, possibly go back to work. And even if, when we do go back to work, what is it gonna look like? Is it gonna be different? And likely it will. Um, so to that, I wanted to introduce two key figures that we have at both Caswell Family Medical and James Austin Health Center. Um, that's Tanya Hippolyte. She is our behavioral health director. Uh, she's stationed out at Caswell Family Medical and um, she's gonna talk with you here briefly um, when I'm done here. And also wanna let you know that Tanika Striblin is our behavioral health counselor at our Eden office at James Austin Health Center. Um, right now she's seeing patients virtually through televisits, um, just like I'm, I'm doing. Uh, certain situations I can also see face-to-face. Uh, -face. just depends on your symptoms, situation, um, but we, if we can deal with you uh, or your symptoms through telehealth, that's the safest way to go right now. It's the best for everybody. Hi everyone, my name is Tanya Hippolyte and I'm the Behavioral Health Program Director for Caswell Family Medical Center and James Austin Health Center. I just wanted to do a quick video to check in with everyone to see how everybody is dealing with anxiety, especially during this COVID crisis. So what I want to do is first define anxiety and second, I want to give you some resources on ways that you can best manage your anxiety during this um, chaotic time where we really can't control a whole lot of things beyond just taking care of ourselves. So I'm going to give you tips on how you can best take care of your, yourselves and symptoms of anxiety that you may be experiencing. So in defining anxiety, um, there's different forms of anxiety. We have what's called generalized anxiety. This could be symptoms of fidgetiness, um, shaking, um, excessive worry. A lot of people will say my nerves are bad or I just worry all the time. You may be, um, you may have a diagnosis of generalized anxiety disorder if that's a persistent symptom that you've experienced for a considerable amount of time. Um, we have what's called social anxiety. People just have um, fear when dealing with the public or social situations. Um, and then we have situational anxiety. You may have never really dealt bad with generalized anxiety or social anxiety or specific phobias and never had a panic attack in your life and good for you because as somebody who's had panic attacks it's not fun um, but now during this COVID crisis you might um, start seeing signs um, from your body and your mind and those signs might be related to anxiety. So I first want to share with you what the CD says says are signs of stress and anxiety. So that includes feelings of numbness, disbelief, and fear, which I'm sure many of us are going through, changes in appetite and energy levels, difficulty concentrating, difficulty sleeping or suddenly having nightmares because of all these excessive fears and worries that you're having that are specifically focused towards the COVID-19 crisis, physical reactions, headaches, body pain, stomach problems, skin rashes, um, worsening of pre-existing issues, um, say if you have a heart condition or asthma or any underlying condition, maybe you already have generalized anxiety and this COVID epidemic is making your anxiety worse because you, you've gotten away from managing your generalized anxiety effectively. And then there's also, of course, the increased use of tobacco, alcohol, or other substances. Um, 
A lot of people don't know that anxiety and substance abuse are very heavily correlated, whether that's um, severe narcotics or tobacco users. Both are deadly, um, but tobacco being legal, let's just talk about that for a second. A lot of people tell me that they smoke because their anxiety or their anger or irritability, and by the way, anger and irritability is a sign of anxiety. So if you're a person who struggles with ang anger, you likely are struggling with anxiety too. Um, to go back to the smoking piece, a lot of people will tell me that they will smoke um, maybe six out of the 15 cigarettes they smoke in that day is because they are triggered um, with some type of worry or some, some types of agitation that will make them want to smoke that cigarette. So this is why it's important for us to have really healthy coping skills when it comes to how we just deal with stress in general, particularly anxiety. So let's see together what the CDC, what the CDC is saying. So the CDC um, tells us that we first need to take care of our bodies. This means proper sleep management and proper nutrition. I know there's a bunch of memes circulating in, on Facebook, which I'm guilty of sharing just, you know, to keep things light. We have to have a sense of humor through this time um, about gaining all this weight and coming out of this um, lockdown and quarantine, 50 pounds heavier and all that. And, you know, it's fun to joke about, but our health and nutrition is definitely not something we need to take lightly. Um, I'm actually being very mindful about my water intake I'm not a really big water drinker um, making sure I'm drinking enough water um, still eating nutritiously yes you can treat yourself have that cupcake don't deprive yourself but your general nutrition management needs to be healthy and adequate and if you're having difficulty with that reach out to one of us at CFMC or James Austin Health Center to get some consultation with one of our providers about your weight management or nutrition management. We're here to help you guys. Um, and that goes as well for behavioral health. If you're struggling with anxiety or depression and you feel like those symptoms are worsening during this time, please reach out to us. Our behavioral health team is happy to support you. Um, some other tips that you guys can consider in managing your emotional stress and anxiety are connecting with others. Um, your loved ones, a lot of people are having specific anxiety over their elderly parents or grandparents, especially if they're living in um, residential nursing homes, and connect with them. Can we visit them physically? No, but we can send letters, we can make phone calls, we have, um, we're in a very convenient time where we have technology and we have different ways to connect with people in ways where we didn't um, even 20 years ago. So take those opportunities and stay connected with your loved ones. Another recommendation that the CDC has is to take breaks. Give yourself time to decompress and to take a break from whatever it is you're doing. Some of you parents, God bless you, you are suddenly homeschool teachers and I know your anxiety is through the roof. Take breaks. The kids get breaks, you need one too. Take take your break while the kids are taking their breaks. Um, stay informed, but don't digest too much information to the point that it's giving you anxiety. I recently heard somebody say, I don't watch the news, I check the news, and I think that's very wise. Check it, stay updated, log on to the CDC to just be aware of what the new guidelines and recommendations are. And then after that, go about your day as normally planned. Don't sit there and digest all the news, whether it's via your phone, on Facebook, because we know Facebook keeps us um, sometimes more quickly informed than just watching CNN or any other news outlet on TV. Um, so just really be mindful that you're checking in and staying informed, but you're not overly digesting all the news that's already making all of us anxious. And also seek help when needed. I already said we at Caswell Family Medical Center and James Austin Health Center, we are here to support you. Um, if you feel like you're struggling with, with anxiety, please reach out to us. Um, also, you can reach out to loved ones who you know have already struggled with anxiety. Those could be great resources as well. And I encourage you to Seek um, your spiritual and your faith-based connections. A lot of people um, are missing that the physical gathering if, the, if they're um, churchgoers or go to mosque or anything that um, is kind of your standard routine and is your self-care and you're missing that. But I want you to reach out to those resources and apply that in your home. Set 
you know, 15 minutes aside to connect to your higher power or to meditate. Meditation is amazing and is proven effective to help reduce stress levels. Um, I meditate. I use what's called the Calm app, C-A-L-M. It's amazing. It has guided meditation scripts and different sounds, um, nature sounds. I like the ocean waves one because I'm from Florida. So the sound of ocean waves crashing and the wind blowing is definitely peaceful for me. So those are the tips that I have for you guys when it comes to managing your anxiety during this difficult time. Again, please reach out to us at the Medical Center or James Austin, and we'll be happy to assist you in any way we can. And wash those hands. Thanks. If you're interested in receiving behavioral health services, our behavioral health staff is available to support you via telehealth and office appointments. We have Sarah Laws, who's our community-based social worker in Yanthiville. Sarah works out of our Caswell Senior Center and our health department. At our Eden location, James Austin Health Center, we have Tanika Striblin, who's available for telehealth and office visits. Please give us a call. Thanks.